Hello everyone out there, welcome back to Life is a Bowl of Cashews, where life is sweet, salty, and a little nutty. I'm Brian Hall, and I'm joined by my co-host, Paul! Hello, human. Now, let's talk about some randomosity! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Life is a Bowl of Cashews. Cashews. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we have, we've never actually discussed this on the show. Do we actually like cashews? I don't. <laughs> You don't? <laughs> I hate the way cashews taste. They're, I like them in milk form. Yeah, you do like cashew milk. Know. You do like cashew milk. Because I can't drink any other milk. But, I mean, I can, but not, not dairy milk. But, yeah, I like them in, like, milk form. But I don't you don't like, like, it's oh. like a bowl of cashews? Oh. <laughs> so you don't like life then? But no. Oh. <laughs> oh, use our title <laughs> against me. I just realized we've never discussed that. I, I like cashews. They're too oily for me. They are pretty oily. I, I like peanuts more. Peanuts are my favorite. Peanuts are good. Favorite of the nut, even though I don't think technically beans are- I like beans corn are, nuts. I, I don't think technically uh, peanuts are nuts. I don't- They're legumes. Yeah, they're legumes in I the like, bean I family. I like corn nuts. Corn nuts are pretty good. Those aren't real nuts, though. They're not real nuts either. You're nuts. Oh, I am crazy, but yeah, that's that's why <laughs> that's why we do this. We talk about whatever crazy thoughts come into our heads. Ah, we need to talk about the fact that it's already hot in this place. Yes, so we're uh, recording in my studio, and when we do this, I have to turn the AC off. Oh my god, it's yep. already hot, and it's yep. been two point three seconds. Yep, that's what happens. Golly. Anyway, I need to calm my butt. All right. Well, I I want to bring up a topic. This time, a topic. You? Yes, I want to bring up a topic. This is one we've talked about in person, but we've never addressed officially on this podcast. Speak. Yes. You know exactly which one I'm going to say. I actually don't. We haven't put this one on an official podcast yet. I really don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's going to be the favorite thing again because we did that for the test podcast and not the actual one. Like what your favorite thing is. The thing that I've brought up like eight times to you and Angie. Oh, that thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear people talk about You're it. You're so excited about it. Okay, go ahead. So this is going to be – this is this is a question that I've had. And there's no right or wrong answer here. It's very much a uh, – what's, what's the word for it? A, not An a abstract. philosophical thought. An abstract thought. I guess so. Is what truly – constitutes your favorite like 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 for example i have been asked before like what my favorite food is and there's two foods that come to the forefront of my mind but i like them for completely different reasons one is pizza now pizza pizza is the kind of food i don't care how it's served i'm gonna eat it like <laughs> people are like oh i won't right. touch little caesars ah. oh i'll eat little caesars i only eat the gourmet stuff oh i'll eat the gourmet stuff wait there's not a do you like calzones <laughs> oh i love calzones yeah <laughs> every time i think of pizzas and calzones i go to ben wyatt in parks and rec yes <laughs> <laughs> i love that i love that these are calzones that and everyone's like it's just the worst pizza <laughs> i love that it's on what does he call it a vehicle for i forgot what he called it but it was i've got anyway, i forgot what calzones. it was too. but right, yeah good. no i'll happily eat a calzone i'll you know, I'm not picky about brand. Like, if everyone's like, oh, we're going to get Pizza Hut. Is that okay for you? I'm like, yeah. So is Little Caesars. So is Domino's. So is Papa John's. <sighs> I don't. I'm not picky about my pizzas. We're, we're, and that's why That's why I consider it one of my favorite foods is I can have it. It's my safe choice option because I can have it any way. And I'm probably going to like it. Toppings are another story. Can Can we talk about pizza for a second? For a second. Then I want to get back to my thing. But sure, we can talk about pizza for a second. <laughs> um. Uh... Little Caesars, really? I like Little Caesars. Oh, it's not my favorite, but I'll happily eat Little Caesars. That's disappointing. It's, see, that's no. what I'm trying to say. To me, there's not a bad pizza. Even a bad pizza is still good. Ugh. I haven't had a real pizza in a long time. But yeah. I will tell you. Ew. A Little Caesars. Ew. Ew. Yeah, I know Little everyone Caesars says Little Caesars is that. nasty. Everyone says, see, that's the thing. Is even the worst pizza, I still think it's good. Those really cheap ones that you get at like Chuck E. Cheese or something. I haven't had one in forever, but I'm sure I'd like it. And a calzone. And, yeah, I love calzones. <laughs> Basically, you put meat and, yeah, meat, cheese, sauce, and bread together. I'm going to like it. 
if anyone's noticed so far, I can make all the jokes in the world, and Brian will not acknowledge them when he is on a rant and when he is focused. It I is about focused. him. No. <laughs> about his conversation. There's always been. I this. don't know. What, what joke did you say that I missed? I've said calzone like 14 times. Yeah, we've addressed it. The bin, the bin one. We made that. We joked no, about it. You need to address it more. We, adju- we addressed it. All the time. What, what else do I need to say? say? Need I thought it was. Up. Oh, yeah. That part from you that need, part from Parks and Rec. It was need funny. To die of laughter every time I say it. I can't do that because it's not that funny. <gasps> That's wrong. Okay, go ahead. No, we'll do, it's true. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, it's funny you bring it back up. Butthole. It's uh, it's okay. funny that okay, you bring it back up, but it's like we have to talk about yeah. your favorite. What the definition yeah. of favorite, okay. Brian? Yeah, duh. So that there's pizza. Any way, any way you slice it, I like it. Eh, <laughs> eh. Dang eh. it! I wasn't gonna laugh because I'm like I'm gonna show him, but then he made a face and. I did make I had the to face. Laugh. I'm gonna put like <laughs> I made the meme face. You know the one about the dog who makes the dad jokes and he's just like ah. Yeah. Open mouth and like big eyes, Should've just like just yeah. Uh, uh. Dang it, me! All right, go ahead. No, the thing is, we've already laughed at your joke and you brought it up like four more times. That's the first time I made to. that joke. You're allowed to, <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily get funnier just because you it bring doesn't. it up again. Dang. That's another thing we can talk about. Our jokes funny just because you bring them back up again. No, sometimes they are. They, sometimes they are. Depending it's on all time. about the timing. It is about timing. That is true. Continue. Yes. So. There's pizza. Any way you slice it, I like it. See, I don't expect you to laugh at that one. Um, and the other one is barbecue. And when I say barbecue, oh, I need you Lord. to understand me, <laughs> oh, audience. Lord. Most of y'all have heard this Here speech before. And I'm not going to go over all the details, but basically it's this. If you throw food on a grill and call it barbecue, you're wrong. Oh. It has to be on <laughs> a wrong. smoker and cooked for a good amount of time to be considered traditional barbecue. That's the food I'm talking about. And that what that's we what brings me to this point. So many arguments around this. Yes. And I have won because I'm right. Sadly, he is correct. Mm-hmm. According to the definition, that's what it is. It uh, but anyways. Every time. Um but yes, so when people ask me it's either uh pizza or barbecue. Pizza. Now with barbecue, it's gotta be right. Like if I have a bad plate of barbecue, oh, oh god. Oh, well, first I of am all, upset. a bad plate of barbecue is disgusting for many it is. a reason. It One, is. One, it could be oily. Like, and you I don't really like, don't like oil. I either. hate oily things. You really don't. No, I don't like oily things. It could be oily, greasy. I'm not into that. A good plate of barbecue. It's well, it's made in heaven. That's right. That is God's gift to humanity. That's right. Like when I go, to, like. I'm very picky about barbecue places out here in California because there's a few that do it right. There are some. I think picky is the wrong word. I think you're pretentious. <laughs> That's another way to put it. I'm okay with that. But, yeah, if I have a good plate of barbecue, it's better than any pizza I've ever had. It is barbecue. It is the peak of my culinary um, of my culinary experiences. Wow. Nothing can top a good plate of barbecue to wow. my taste buds. But – Oh, there's a butt. When it's done wrong, it's one of the lowest forms of food Dang. that I can have. I'm just disgusted oh. by it, and I don't oh. want it in front of my face. Wow. So, so that's what I mean. I have a higher experience with barbecue, but it's harder to find that. But with yes. with pizza, I always have an adequate experience that I'm thrilled to death to experience. <laughs> so which one is truly your favorite? Is it the one that you can have no matter the circumstances or the thing that's really special, mm. but it's very, it's very special. far and few between? Oh. Because like, uh, uh, okay, the same okay, example can wait. be given into like films. Like yeah. an animated family film is like my pizza. Even a bad animated family film I'm going to enjoy to some degree. Pinocchio. You're talking about the animated Disney one? Yeah. Polly Shore. (laughs) You should see his face. Oh my goodness. This is too funny. Most animated family films, I can find something to enjoy. Even in the ones that I consider bad. (laughs) But your face went from, you mean the Disney one? Yeah. No, the Polly Shore one. (laughs) <laughs> like utter <laughs> disgusting. Like it was just utter dis- nasty. I was about to say the animated Pinocchio, the Disney animated Pinocchio is fantastic. 
Why would I have a problem like, with that? Yeah, that one's fantastic, but yeah. the Polly Shore one scares no. me. No, that one's horrendous. But I will admit that I will even say this. Even while I was being forced to watch that movie, in some parts it was so bad it was good. I have to give it that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Some wait, of the- wait, wait. If I may, this has nothing to do with Polly Shore. Okay. But if I may, going back to the favorite subject, because it's yes. in my head, I don't want to forget it. Your your experience with pizza is my experience with sushi. Yeah. You, you, it's hard for you to find a sushi I, you don't like. Now, mind you, in recent months, I don't know what's wrong with my taste buds, but I only will eat certain places or, or uh, certain places. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, my name is Paul. <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve. <laughs> I can't speak words. Okay. Had a minor stroke. Back up. Here we go. When... No, that's not where I wanted to start. I will only eat at certain places now, um, sushi places now. I don't know why. Well, Usually, then now that sounds more like barbecue. See, well, that okay, but I want to compare before. before okay, before. Okay, before. This is before, before your taste buds Before changed. my taste buds changed. Okay. I used to eat any sushi ever. But it was like that, is I will eat sushi, and no matter how nasty people think it is, I was like, oh, I thought it was good. Like, it's a good experience, yeah. whatever. Your barbecue, though, is my Italian. Oh, it is. It's my you Italian. You are. You are you, all oh. kinds. Well, of okay. I picky I'm about Italian. It, it How makes sense. Dare you? Like it, it makes right, sense. It make, well, you're from Texas. It makes, it makes sense. sense. <laughs> right. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's I'm like just a Japanese. You get that? It's yeah. like some. It's like a Japanese person looking at me and going, "That is not sushi." And me going, "Well, yeah, it is." <laughs> Like, you know, with, you know, mayonnaise on it. It's not sushi. Yeah, like we could bring up Olive Garden for you. I love Olive oh Garden. God. But I I will acknowledge yeah. this is not true Italian food, but I still like it. But it's okay. not true Italian okay. food. Really quickly on Olive Garden. If there is a there is an Italian dish called pasta or spaghetti carbonara. Oh, no. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we no. were just at Olive Garden. No, you no, this. no, 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 no. Yes, there you is were. a I know. There is a dish called pasta or spaghetti carbonara. I am telling – now, mind you, I can say it with the accent, but I don't want to be pretentious. So I will say this. Ew. Ew. You do not put cream in pasta carbonara. You do not. You put eggs, olive oil, and some other things, but cream ain't ain't one of them. And Olive Garden puts cream in it. My butt that your chefs go to Italy to train, sir. Because that is not how you make pasta carbonara. Now, I have tried it and it is a little tasty. But, (laughs) but, (laughs) you will, that is not appreciated. I want to say something funny, but it is a joke, but it's not appropriate for this podcast. So I won't say it. But Lisa knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and Lisa, if you're listening, you're going to have it like everybody else. <laughs> but the point is, is that carbonara, no. I make it correctly. My family makes it correctly. But going back to favorite, Italian is your barbecue. Or my Italian is your barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I, I guess that would that's what it boils down to. It's like. What would be your favorite, the thing that you can have under any circumstance or the thing that has to be special? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say this. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. My – I define favorite – I think, like many things in America, we overuse words. Yeah. And favorite is far overused. Oh, absolutely. But that's so one of the reasons we are going to, to really this. define it – I would say my absolute favorite food, if we're going to talk about food for a minute, my absolute favorite food is Japanese food. There's okay. no other food above that for me. I love the flavors. I love the the culture behind the food. I love Japanese cuisine. So that would be, going back to our thing, when you said that was for you sushi earlier, that's because you can have it under any circumstance, correct? Or are we going to the Italian route? Because the Italian, you said that when you have it at its peak, it's the best. So you're saying it's more the go-to everything instead of the one that has the highest experience. The highest experience value to me is Japanese. Okay. That's my favorite food. Okay. However, let's go to pizza. Well, I mean, that's... I'm trying to understand because we're, we're having this thing 
uh, to explain why it's our favorites. I'm like, okay, so you said, okay, I'm going to set up sushi and I'm going to set up Italian. All right, you ready for this? Japanese food. <laughs> well, Japanese is part, sushi is part of exactly. The Japanese so that's what cuisine. I'm trying. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I'm like, oh, so you're saying that it falls under the sushi category that you set up with the I can eat this under any circumstances and I like it. Yes. That's what you're considering to be your favorite. Yes. That's where I was trying to get to think. However. Okay. There's always a however with me because I make no sense when I think. <laughs> however. Yeah. Italian food, if done correctly, does not beat Japanese. Okay. Does not beat Japanese, but it is a sub favorite. <laughs> a sub favorite. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, we're making subs. We're sub making favorites. subs. Okay. See, like, and I would go the other route with it. I would say the peak experience that I've had with barbecue is so high above a pizza that I would have to make barbecue my favorite. Okay. That's what I would say. But, I mean, like I said, there's no wrong answer to this. This is just purely a thought-provoking question. Let's go to movies. Okay. I want to go to movies. Yeah. What is your – with the same same idea, okay – how how we're defining favorite right now? Yes. Okay. We only can pick one. That's your all time favorite. Go off of that. Okay. 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 What is your? I, I know what you're gonna say. Stupid. Well, actually, no. You may not know what I'm gonna say because I'm gonna bring out one for each category. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite movie, Lion King? Go ahead. <laughs> My favorite movie that I can watch under any circumstances at any time and be satisfied Lion King. is Lion King. <laughs> yes. But if we're talking about what I one of my peak movie viewing experiences of all time, yes. That would actually probably go to The Green Mile. Shocker. I am actually shocked a little. I don't I really talk about The Green Mile you. much. I did not expect you to pick a actual like live action movie exactly because that's what i was trying to say earlier family animated films for the most part especially that one that's a deep movie dang. exactly oh, that's why i liked it um but that's you what i'm saying love a, you love any movie that can give me a range of emotion a strong emotion from you yes i want to study your brain <laughs> If it wow. means I get to watch movies, sure. You I can study as much as you want. to have you in front of a movie <laughs> just having a live CT scan of your brain because, wow. Yeah, because it's like uh, going back to the favorites things, most family-friendly animated films are going to go into my I can enjoy under any circumstance. Even the worst one presented by the worst studio, I can at least sit through it. Yeah, I can't do that. I can at least sit through it. And even then, there's some, even if I'll say, oh, this was a bad movie, I'll walk away going, I kind of want to watch it again. Yeah. Because there's something to them that are comforting, and I just want to come back to and watch again. Okay. Which is why you probably think I'd pick one of these more, because that's what I'm always in the mood for. Yeah. But then we go to the ones that have a higher experience, probably the higher art ones, or even just more. Uh, or I'm just going to put live action over here in general. Just most okay. live action films. A bad live action film, I can't sit through because I'm bored. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. A bad live action film to me, I don't even want to sit through it because I'm like, I'm not going to see anything I wouldn't see somewhere else. I, maybe that's what it is. At least with animation, I'm getting a cool art style that I can't see anywhere else. I'm getting something visually stunning that I wouldn't be able to see. And even then, a bad story can still make really good animation that I can yeah. enjoy viewing. But other well, the live action, I'm watching a dude that I could just go outside my door and watch. Not that person, but I just don't. watch a dude doing dude things. Dude things? I don't know. <laughs> dude going outside, just, you know. Walking outside in New York City. I'm like, I've seen that a million times. I don't need to see that again. How many times have you been to New York City that you've seen that? I've seen it. I've been to New York like two or three times. And you've lived these people's lives? No, but that's what I'm saying. Doing dude things? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, If I don't like the story, if yeah. I'm bored by it, there's nothing to keep me there. Right. That makes sense. Animation, I get that because I get a unique art style. I'm at least intrigued by the visuals that I'm seeing. Unless an, a live action film is doing something unique and different, I'm going to get bored unless I like the story and the characters. I mean, I think that's a lot of people, no? Not necessarily. That's or at me. least it doesn't seem that way. I, I prefer live action, yes. I also prefer comedy. But if I was watching a comedy, 
But that's what I'm and saying. There's nothing there to intrigue me. I, of course, I'm gonna just stray away. Right. But that's what I'm saying. If I'm watching an animated film where I don't get invested in the characters and I don't like the story, I'll still stick around because I like the visuals. That's what I'm saying. I don't have that with live action. I think a lot of people do that, though. Like a lot I of people do. with well, live no, with action. With animation. With animation. I'll do the same thing you do. Is I'm like, well, the story sucks, but this uh, graphic was cool, or that animation's cool, or the style's cool. Like, yeah. oh, I like watching this. I'll do that. I don't think that's special. I don't mean to say that it's special. I'm just saying that that is my perspective, but I know that oh. not everybody shares that. Oh. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. No, we no, can no. share a perspective that. on this one. Because, yeah. like, I know for a fact that's not my parents. Like, my parents, they will take a boring live action film every day of the week over watching an animated movie. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's a thing. Unless it's, I think the only one they can watch again is probably Lion King, because they've even told me it's like, well, that's the that's the best one. That's the best one there is. Your hand movements are way more Italian than Southern. I don't. Where understand do you get why. that from? I don't know. You Maybe do I've been this. friends with this. This is an Italian long. thing. I don't know. I've no, been you did with this you before. For... Like after what I met you, you would put oh, your yeah. your what is this? Your my pointer finger, pointer finger, and your thumb together. I I don't like, know. You do this all the time. That's such an Italian thing. I don't know. Are you from Italy? No. I do like Italian food. Oh, maybe you just maybe maybe I watched some stuff where there was just you more do that Italian all the actors. time. I don't it's mean so, to, especially when you're making a really strong point. You do this. I now, don't mean to. Usually Italians do their middle finger, pointer finger, and thumb together, and do this. But you do this all the time. This I see this a lot in people from back east, and meditating too. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I do it, but you, no, you're totally right. right go ahead. Sorry. Um, but yeah, but uh, like. I'm not in the mood to watch Green Mile often. Well, no, you have to know. It's, you have to be in a very particular Oh, mood. it is an experience. Because that's but, a strong movie. Right, but that's what I'm saying. When I watched it, it was like a three-hour movie, but it felt like only 25 minutes because of how engrossed in the so story good. that I was, and I felt for every character. And I have not had an experience like that up until that point. Yeah. Lion King's the only animated film that can even come close to that. But even then, that's like a higher viewing experience. But then, unlike the barbecue one, I turn around here and say, it'd probably be Lion King because I can watch it whenever. I'm like, then that's it's your weird. favorite. It's it's weird that is there's well, that dichotomy. You have categories. Your, your favorite live action versus your favorite animation. Yeah. So your favorite live action is Green Mile and your favorite yeah. animated movie is Lion King. Right. But if someone's like your favorite movie of all time, I'd probably still say Lion King yeah. because of the fact I can watch it at any time. But I'm saying, isn't it interesting that I juxtapose it in my – that there's this dichotomy in my brain between redefining my favorite for film but then also changing my definition of favorite for food? Because I would say favorite food is barbecue, favorite film is Lion King. But I'm using a different definition for favorite for both. I mean, I know that's not necessarily wrong. I just thought it was interesting. Do you see what I'm saying? No, but you know, it doesn't the matter. whole like the whole premise of this is, what is your favorite? The thing you can join in any circumstance or the highest peak. Right. For food, the highest peak is barbecue, and that's what I picked. Right. But then for film, it's whatever I could have whenever or the highest peak, and I picked whatever I could have all the time with Lion King. So I'm saying there's a dichotomy between both of those. I realize that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was more interesting than me saying that that was wrong. Does that you know, make sense? For someone who I consistently call concrete, you're very abstract right now to the point where I don't even follow you. <laughs> so. You don't understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, in these two categories. Someone's probably understanding and going, Paul, you're an idiot for not knowing, but. Well, because, like, the whole thing is we're setting up. Oh, I hear you, but I don't quite follow. But that okay. doesn't mean you have to keep explaining it. That just means I'm not going to. I just don't follow it. Okay. But I like where you're going with it. I, th I thought it was interesting. It that, is interesting. That because my gut reaction is to change my definition of favorite to fit barbecue and Lion King, which makes me think if I'm changing the rules, it's because I want those two to win. Oh, well, yeah, because you're biased. Because I want those two to win. Yeah, you're biased. As much as I love pizza and the Green Mile, I want both of those to be what my favorites are. Right. So I'm changing my definition yeah. to fit that to win. That That's called – yeah, that's called bias. Yeah. I was just saying, I thought yeah. that was interesting. Oh. 
that oh i see what you're saying now so if that's what you're saying yes i understand you because we all do that i told i yeah. do that all the time i was just stating that it was interesting right as well. what is it called it's not called subconscious it's called uh implicit no oh my gosh it's in my head it's on the tip of my tongue when you're like confirmation <clears throat> called confirmation bias oh you you will research things or look for things to confirm your bias Right, like I want Lion King to be my favorite, so I'll pick the other definition just so that it can satisfy that. Right. And I want barbecue to be my favorite, so I'll flip the right. rules to satisfy that. Right, confirmation bias. Oh. So, so you I know your favorite food. What yeah. what's your film? What what's your what's your I can go to anytime film and then your You know what? I have experience. to be in a very specific specific a specific uh, mood to watch anything. Um, True. My favorite. I don't have a favorite film. I will tell you a film that I like a lot, which is Singing in the Rain. I okay, think that's a great film. Um, I will tell you that I don't really have like a favorite though. There's well, nothing that comes to mind. I'm like that is my favorite. I can watch it all the time. I can't do that. Okay. Well, that's also well. Films. That's not oh, true. Oh, oh, oh. That's not true. Oh. <laughs> do tell. Do tell. I could probably. I don't know. There's a movie called um, One Fine Day that you've probably never heard of. I was going to say, I haven't heard of that um, Michelle Pfeiffer, and I forgot the I know her. actor that's in it. But it's called One Fine Day. It's an adorable movie. Um, it's basically just two single parents that meet each other by happenstance in New York. Um, yeah, that really sounds like a film I wouldn't, right. <laughs> that I wouldn't know about. I... <laughs> I think that is the most – it's the cutest film on the planet. I like Michelle Pfeiffer because I think she's just an amazing actress. But I forgot the leading actor's name. I don't know why it's not standing out to me because he's a known actor. Um, but, yeah, it's one – I will say it is a favorite film of mine. Could I watch it all the time, every time? No. But could I watch it once a month? Oh, heck, yeah. That is Which, a good movie. And well, it, it comforts me. Well, I was It gives me a very nice, calm – yeah. homey comforting feeling well i was gonna say with you how you like movies that's gonna be your next equivalent is what could you watch more than anything else because you aren't would, a big movie it person. would be that it yeah would be, okay yeah one fine day for sure okay so then how about singing in the rain versus one fine day which one would oh, you pick i would pick singing in the rain oh so you're going with so you did the same thing i did but flipped it there's a reason though i'm doing that because oh. i'm biased and i know i'm biased because let me tell you why I cannot, in my in my mind, compare Michelle Pfeiffer and Debbie Reynolds together. That is a near <laughs> impossible. I am not saying Michelle Pfeiffer is not a good actress. She is an amazing actress. But then you have a legend like Debbie Reynolds. How do you compare that? You can't. It's Debbie freaking Reynolds. <laughs> Hello? Well, I mean, that's... I mean, but someone could say the same thing to my choices. It's like, how on earth could you pick an animated movie about lions over one of the greatest performances of Tom, Tom Hanks' entire career? It wasn't Geppetto. <laughs> right now. No. Nope. It wasn't Geppetto. No. Oh, oh was... my God. That I'm was... going to make this one out of wood. What was the incoherent I rambling? I was all oh like, my gosh, Mr. Made, Hanks, you are better than this, sir. He made more sense talking to himself in Castaway. And he didn't have CGI that man, characters to interact with. That man oh, is a no. national treasure. He is. He is a national treasure. He, he is, is an amazing day, my actor. favorite actor. But that was the ramblings of a psychotic person. Oh my gosh! I just uncontrolled. I was like, "What is the first going twenty on? minutes of the movie?" I'm just like, Brian. If I why? walked into that man's house, and I was listening to that, I would have prescribed him Zyprexa and put him in a hospital. I don't <laughs> doubt it. I, was, I don't I, no, doubt I can't, it. But I would have been oh all like, gosh, "I don't doubt what? it." That man was ramble. He it was incoherent rambling. Pretty much, yeah. Horrible. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanks, but you could do better than that. I feel like people have made this joke online, but I honestly think this might have been what happened. He was working on another project on the Disney lot, and they're like, hey, we need your pedal. Can you come in here for like five minutes and just do this thing for us and sure, go home? Sure, yeah. I, $10 million. I feel like that's what he did because at least have. the first scene was that wh where he was at the end of the movie, he was much better. His, he, he his, must, speech, it, his speech at the end of the film, I will say this. 
was really good. And I'm like, okay, there's Tom Hanks. I don't know where you were at the beginning of the movie, but you're back. Thank I haven't you. seen the end of the film, so I should watch it. Going back no, to shouldn't. Deb. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you the Spark Notes version. Okay. So going back to Debbie Reynolds and Michelle Pfeiffer. I am biased when it comes because Debbie Reynolds is a flippin' legend. I cannot compare. Same with you. I understand people would say, why can't you give your favorite to well, a no. lion and not Tom Hanks, who well, gave no. the best performance ever? No, I was going to say, I agree with that because in my mind, The Lion King is like the greatest piece of animated work ever and possibly one of the greatest film works ever. And because of that, it's hard for me to say as good as Tom Hanks when is. You I don't know say if I can go film better. works. Do you mean like actual like live action too? Are you including? Yeah. Oh, okay, see, that's hard for me. See, that's what I mean. That's where I, that's where I'm saying because you're Most comparing. People... You're comparing, and I'm not degrading the movie. It is a great movie. I'm not degrading it. What I'm saying is you're comparing this Lion King to like a Beautiful Life. Oh, yeah. By what is one of the most amazing movies in the world, or Green Mile, or Shawshank Redemption, or any- I'm saying I like it more. Or Schindler's List. I mean, these great masterpieces of movies. And you're- See, there's a thing, though. You're saying you like it more. I do like it more. Okay, so you- Which I get, but that's hard. So I can see your, your point. Because, wow. I would look at you and be like, dude, Really? I'm Lion not, King? I'm not necessarily saying that it is objectively a better movie, but I'm saying it's so well done, it deserves to be in a title oh, along with the greatest films of all time. It is beyond well done. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm I, not, I would say best animated movie ever. I agree. I would say it is the best animated movie so far ever, because there's I probably going to be something in the future, maybe she'll come. But best film ever no i didn't say it was best film ever i just said in film works i said it was it was in the league of the top film works maybe i didn't hear in the league part but maybe i maybe i thought i said that but what i meant to say was it deserves to be in that realm of like the greatest films ever in my opinion okay i can actually give that to you i can say that it could be in the league of best film ever if i said in, in You guys are going to be able to hear better than me because y'all can go back and rewind. I can't rewind real life, although that would be fun. If I I said it was the greatest film of all time, I didn't necessarily mean that. Okay. I meant it deserves to be among the greats. Like when people talk about some of the greatest films ever made, I think Lion King needs to at least be in the conversation. Yes. I wouldn't say that about every animated film. Not even I hear you. I hear you. But that's a hard one. I know, that's and that's what I'm saying. One. Have and that's you seen I'm... A Beautiful Life? I don't. Maybe you I've haven't. seen A Beautiful Mind. Oh, that's a good movie. That is a very a good beautiful movie. Life. I forget his name. Bennett. Bennett. I forgot. But Benedict Cumberbatch. No, not him. <laughs> I forgot. His I name. know it was before. It was a before. Beautiful Life. It's a. It's about um, um, father and a daughter who get um, who get abducted by well, abducted. I'm about to say like I've seen It's a Wonderful Life. It, yeah, that's yeah. No, Wonderful Life is with what's his name, uh, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, that was the black and white. Yeah, no, A Beautiful Life is. Oh, what's his name? Excuse me. Keep talking. Entertain yourselves. I'll look. <clears throat> so while he's looking, let's speak for a moment. <laughs> but no, I, I I get why I get why you'd say that that's a hard pill to swallow, and I I, I get it because there is this there's this mentality amongst. Um, the general public and most people in our current culture that a film is animated. It can't come to the same level of a live action film because it just can't. First of all, I'm stupid. So we're just going to stop right there. Okay. It's not called a beautiful life. It's called life is beautiful. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm like, this title doesn't sound seen, even familiar. Have you seen life is beautiful? No. Okay. Well, I have. And apparently I said it wrong though. I, um, this is another one I've never heard of. So there is a Life is Beautiful is by Roberto Benigni, which is a he's an amazing um, director in Italy. But it's about a, a Jewish Italian waiter who was pl- uh, a played by Roberto Benigni. He's an actor and, and a director um, meets a school teacher and wins over wins her over with his charm and humor. They marry, have a son, and then it's everything's kind of halted when they're both put into a concentration camp. Oh, and let me tell you, it is 
so heart not heartwarming god that's say heartbreak heartbreaking and is so like what you do as a parent to make sure your kids are protected i'm like oh. <laughs> like because he pretends like that he, uh, you have to see it anyway it's gorgeous it's beautiful but i hear what you're saying oh, I should definitely check you would that put that in a category of best film right and then there's I lion king in the conversation as well yeah i don't think that i could say that so su- i could say that subjectively very subjectively it is my number one if not like Ever. At least in the top three. I right. think I'd probably say number objectively, one, though. Objectively. Objectively, yeah. I realize that there are films that have covered such heavier topics and have done so much heavier things yes. than Lion King has done. And I acknowledge that, and I don't want to necessarily say, like, well, just because I like it means it's better. No, but I would say <laughs> that... <laughs> It's funny that you say that because I can think of like 14 people that I know that are like, oh, no, I like it. So therefore it is. No, no. Which is not. It's it's so stupid when people do that. Yeah. So what I I, I'm not going to sit here and just say that the cultural relevance of Lion King is superior to a film like what you just described or like Schindler's List or um, even Boy in Striped Pajamas, even though most people never heard of. But that's another one that has that same level of cultural impact as. Um, those kind of films do. I don't know if I could say that, but I could say that as far as uh, storytelling goes and how the film was actually made from a technical standpoint, it revolutionized that industry. Yes. And yes, I can for, say that. And I also think it was one of the best examples of storytelling that this Walt Disney Studios has ever given us and is the best one we've ever gotten in any animated film ever. I can say that. I th- I get that one's a little more object uh, subjective than objective, but I feel like a case can be made there over most other animated films. Um, but even then, I guess I still I I guess even subconsciously I'm doing this because I find myself having to specify in the realm of animation, in the realm of animation. Yeah, I get it though. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I get what you're saying, but. Then so yeah, I'm not trying to say that it's to... better than those. I'm just trying to say that it. So the the two it, subjects. It was a big game changer. Yeah, no, it was. We got really off the top. No, it's fine. No, we didn't actually because <laughs> think about it. The two things we just talked about that we defined as our favorites. Yeah. How do you define your favorite? You can't. It's it. I mean, you can, but it's extremely biased. It's a subjective topic. That's true. So can you really define your favorite? No. It is oh. highly subjective. So I think you just answered your own question. Dude. I know, right? Got deep there for a second. Dude. I know. Oh, my gosh. That was cool. Right? Because it's true. I tried to define oh. my favorite, my and mind. I couldn't do it in both categories because I want to say Lion King and Barbecue. Right. Holy crud. That's <laughs> cool. Fun, huh? But it's still a fun thing to think about. It is. I'm it curious is. to see what everybody listening picks. So that's what I would like is in the comments, define your favorite and how you define what your favorite is. Yeah. Is it is it is it truly objective? Yeah. And, and how can it be objective? Because it's your favorite. Right. How can your favorite be objective? It can't because, be. Yeah, because thus stating it's an opinion. Right. Which is a very subjective thing. Right. Because exactly. I can... Like I will, because well, I I but I do see that there can be a dichotomy, because yeah. I will sit here all day and tell you that I enjoy every Ice Age film, even four and five and the bad ones. I will not objectively sit here and tell you that those are legitimately good movies. Oh, they're not. They're riddled with whole plot holes and dumb stuff that I complain about in other movies. But for some reason, in Ice Age, it just doesn't bother me. So I can but say like they're... objectively, they're not good films. But subjectively, I think they're and i like them but they're not your favorites no and they don't like guilty pleasures so it leans back to except for the first ice age i will fight the first ice age is actually a good movie okay but that not a leans great one, back but a good to one. you cannot you a fa- being fave something is your favorite is subjective it is yeah. your opinion yeah it is what you believe is yeah. your favorite people don't like japanese food I, I do. I'm not a big fan there of it There you myself. go. So I am biased against it. Of course I am. So subjectively, it is my favorite. So no, you cannot technically define objectively some, your favorite. It's impossible. But it's still fun to think it's about. It's fun. 
oh, I'm not saying it's not. It's a good conversation to have. Right. But in the long run, you're like, can you objectively define? No. No. You can subjectively do it. And that's why uh, we, uh, that was a good, I like that one. That one that was, was a fun, good one. wasn't it? Good job, Brian. We good should job. come up with more. Comment, I want, but people do comment. Like, what is your favorite thing? What did, and, and how did you, how, yeah. What is your favorite thing? I want to know yeah. that. What's and, your favorite thing? And be nice in the comments. Because all be of nice. this, all of this is about experimentation in your thinking so oh, dang, allow yourself we that yeah so just because someone else doesn't agree with you like th- there's not supposed to be a right or wrong answer to this this is purely just no one will your thought ever process. and it's okay if we don't agree with each other brian and i don't agree all the time oh we don't agree on most and things it's okay to have a healthy conversation around disagreement no. that is being human what's not being human is disagreeing and going well i'm right and i know i'm right and i don't care that you're right i know i'm right and i don't want to be wrong <laughs> so that's just immaturity at that point kind of like what i do with barbecue yes <laughs> but we don't talk about that right now oh i realize this that i mainly keep this up for comedic effect sure you do buddy <laughs> um so i will say that but to wrap this conversation up in a nice little bow um, that was fun. That was fun. I like that a lot. Um, okay, everyone, listen up. Are you listening? Great, you're listening. Turn on your listening ears. They're on. Fabulous. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to do all that because if you don't, then we can't have this channel anymore. And then if we don't have the channel anymore, we can't do podcasts. If we can't do podcasts, we can't talk about these fun things. If we can't talk about these fun things, then I'm just gonna go crawl in a little hall- ball and then be in a hallway, dark and dingy and scary, and cry. Wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> None of that's true. But anyway, thank you so much for listening today. Hope yes. everything goes well yes. for the rest of your day, week, and month, year, whatever you need to do. Have a great day, y'all. All right. Bye. Bye.